Hey guys, what's up? This is AppMaker for Life, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get your app onto the App Store. Uh, this is a troubleshooting video, and um, uh, this will go over a couple things that you want to make sure you actually did, and a couple things that Apple doesn't tell you about that you have to do. Okay, or you, like uh, going once you guys are in the iOS provisioning profile, um, you want to make sure that you've done this the launch assistant and it makes like all of this and then in provisioning in the provisioning tab you want to make sure you have the development provisioning profile and also the distribution provi distribution blah, 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 distribution provisioning profile and you want to download both and you want to click and drag them right onto Xcode and once you have that this will not only allow you to um, uh, run them on your device but it will also allow you to uh, distribute them on the App Store. This is one thing that many people forget, and uh, this is one of the errors that they come up, uh, come up and uh, see while they're doing. Or it's a error that comes up. Okay. And another thing that I want to go over uh, in your in Xcode, you want to go into, you want to go and check for info, inf and then plist. And by the way, this is a app that I've already submitted to the App Store. Right now, it's in the uh, um, uh, review stage, and a a Apple's looking through it. And yeah, and then right here, bundle, bundle identifier. You're gonna have something like com dot uh, your company dot, and then this weird dollar ex uh, pro product name, something like that. You want to change that to uh, uh, well, you can change that basically to anything. But you want to keep it. Well, I would keep it at com dot whatever your name is dot uh, the app's name. But I didn't know what that was the first time I did it, so I kind of messed up. So I just left it at the app's name. But you guys can do whatever. Just remember that name and have it saved because it's gonna come as your um, I think bundle ID prefix or something later on, and you'll need that when you're submitting your app to iTunes Connect. Okay, so once you have that, one thing, another thing that you want to go over and do is right here in IRWJ or whatever your app is, I you guys look out for IRWJ. It's free on the App Store. Sorry for the advertising, but yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Okay, go into info and um right here you want to go into configurations, click release. I already have a distribution, but you want to click duplicate and then when you get that you wanna uh well we can do that right now. Duplicate and then do distribution or whatever. Uh just click distribution and you should have that but I already have one so I'm just gonna delete that. Okay. Uh no Apple dig it. Okay. And delete. Okay. Uh, okay. So you should have distribution, and now that you've pulled and put your um. Oh yeah, and another thing: if your device isn't running it, you guys want to check the project info, and in here, you want to have uh your code signing identity at um developer for uh running it on your iPod. But for distributing it, you want to have your iPhone distribution. On automatic profile selector you want to have iPhone distribution and you want to do that for uh, IRWJ the um, actual project and you want to go down into target and in target you want to go to the app or, or your app and you want to click info and once again you want to go down to um, code signing identity and click iPhone distribution and then change that to iPhone distribution and once you have that you want to go into uh, you want to go into this and you want to click distribution and click build and run. My device is in right now, it doesn't really matter as long as it builds and runs. Once it builds, it builds it succeeded, no, whatever, but it succeeded. Okay. So now you want to go into and find your app. My app, I think, is in. Wait, let me check Xcode. Uh, it's in documents. Okay. So find the app in the documents so go through your well, let's go into Macintosh HD go into users 
documents and IRWJ, which is my app, go into build, uh, distribution iPhone OS, and then click compress. I already have a compressed file. I already put this up on the App Store, so um, a lot of this will be review for me. Okay, so once you have that, you're pretty much done with what you need to do on Xcode. So let's go back to iTunes Connect. Well, now that we have the iOS provisioning profile, you want to go back to Member Center and go into iTunes Connect. And in iTunes Connect, this is where you're going to be submitting your app. You want to go into Manage Your Applications. I already have my application in. And let's click Add a New App. I already have my... Well, let me just... Well, I'll go as far as I can. And once again, I will cancel it right at the end. So, uh, whatever. RW8. RWJ Moan SQ number. The SQ number is whatever you want it to be. I recommend that you. It has to be unique though. So I recommend that you put some random three number like two two two. And uh, if this is your first app, or yeah, if this is your first app, put zero 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 one. And then for the version of it or this, the number of releases, if, since this is going to be your first release, put zero 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 one. You can also have letters in, etc. But um, I would do this for your first app, and it can really be whatever you want. But uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just keep it at two 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 zero 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 one zero 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 one, and uh, your key bundle ID suff suffix. That that's the thing that you had. Uh, that's what. Let me just show you guys. That's right here. Um, to search for that you just go into info and you go into that and it should be the bundle identifier you have to copy the entire thing and put that right there so and continue oh uh, let me just since I'm gonna be canceling this anyways let me just put that in and um, you put the pricing, etc. Go through that. Uh, free. Who doesn't like free stuff? I sure do. Okay, continue. Right, and then fill this out, and then fill that out. Well, version number, that's whatever version it is 1.0, 1.2, 1.3. 0 0.9 I don't know description primary category etc go through that and once you've done that well you should you should just go through all of that and just click and submit every, all of this this is similar to the YouTube partnership thing where they ask you bunches of questions where you just click and um you submit and uh, once you have that just go into uploads and then you have to put in all these screenshots and once you have that just click save I've already well I'm not gonna really submit this so let me just go back well once you have that I'll show you what to do with it but let me just cancel this and once I have that let's um, close that Wait, cancel actually let's subtract that and up uh, or I meant minimize but uh, let's go back into oh yeah now we have to go search if you have Xcode three point something so I don't know just check if you have this if you don't you'll be downloading it and I'll have a um, link to that in the description but you probably have this as most come with most uh, most uh, Xcodes come with this so uh, just go into your spotlight and search for app and loader and it should be a top hit you just click that and well I have no eligible applications right now but it'll give you a tab right here you just click your app and when it asks you to search it you want to go into uh, you want to go into your app and then uh, you want to go into the distribution iPhone OS folder and in there click the IR what or your whatever your app is and click the zip file and it will upload that to iTunes or yeah to iTunes and um, once you have that uploaded you should have something like this it'll say waiting for review 
and once again I'll yeah and you should be done you should have no problems putting it up and uh, that's about it for this video uh, rate or you guys don't have rates what well, we don't have rates anymore we have likes right so like comment subscribe you know favorite oh it's 10 minutes oh god whatever see you guys